Welcome to your daily devotional for the month of October entitled A Reverent Life from the book My Life Today. October 20th Christ my elder brother, Christ in my life. Wherefore in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. Hebrews 2 verse 17 The elder brother of our race is by the eternal throne. He looks upon every soul who is turning his face toward him as the Savior. He knows by experience what are the weaknesses of humanity, what are our wants, and where lies the strength of our temptations. He is watching over you, trembling child of God. Are you tempted? He will deliver. Are you weak? He will strengthen. Are you ignorant? He will enlighten. Are you wounded? He will heal. The Lord telleth the number of the stars, and yet he healeth the broken in heart, and bindeth up their wounds. Whatever your anxieties and trials, spread out your case before the Lord. Your spirit will be braced for endurance. The way will be open for you to disentangle yourself from embarrassment and difficulty. The weaker and more helpless you know yourself to be, the stronger will you be in his strength. The heavier your burdens, the more blessed the rest in casting them upon your burden bearer. Circumstances may separate friends, the restless waters of the white sea may roll between us and them. But no circumstances, no distance, can separate us from the Savior. Wherever we may be, He is at our right hand to support, maintain, uphold, and cheer. Greater than the love of a mother for her child is Christ's love for His redeemed. It is our privilege to rest in His love, to say, I will trust Him, for he gave his life for me. Human love may change, but Christ's love knows no change. When we cry to him for help, his hand is stretched out to save. He desires us to realize that he has returned to heaven as our elder brother and that the measureless power given him has been placed at our disposal. A Reverent Life, October 20th